Hey guys, my name is Christian. Carlos. Josh. And this is TRT Boxing with uh, Chris Arola versus Vitaly Kalishko Aftermath. Well, another disappointing fight. I did not expect the Klitschko to do that. Yeah, it was in, it was kind of amazing seeing Klitschko do that. Um, whatever. I really thought it was gonna be another uh, another outcome since uh, I, I mean I did see a real like I saw a real uh, just how just how I expected him to be like just coming forward and trying to get in there. I did see him get a little hurt with his hands a little bit. Um, his left hand, I don't know if his left hand got hurt or something, but he, did, he kept on throwing it and he kept on like shaking it and shit. But uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm disappointed in this, and not just in the fight, but like being a heavyweight fight and just seeing that guy run around and just didn't, just, I didn't want, I didn't expect that at all. Yeah. Well, Vitaly Klitschko fought the, fought, fought the fight that he needed to fight. He fought smart, he stayed away, he knew Ariel was a powerful guy. So he just kept away from the whole time. It didn't make for an interesting fight, and it wasn't the knockout that people were expecting. But he fought the fight they needed to fight to win, and Ariel just couldn't. He couldn't escape the one-two. He couldn't get away from the jab. He just kept on hitting the face. Eventually, broke his nose or his blood in his nose. Yeah. And the stoppage was. It shouldn't have been stopped, but you know, adds another knockout to Vitaly's career. But it was a good fight. It just looked just like Mayweather Marquez for for the bunch of fatties. Man, yeah. that's a that's what we're that's what we're saying. Like uh, like one. I'm not disappointed that Arola lost. I really don't care. Uh, we I did predict like an Arola win, and I I did say that it was just kind of like um, I wanted that change in the heavyweight division. But but uh, the only part that I was disappointed in is how. We we thought it was just going to be two uh, heavyweights going at each other and, and uh, a very intense fight uh, with a lot of action, but actually it, it wasn't. I mean, I'm not going to say there wasn't any action in there, but kind of uh, Klitschko didn't take it to Arola. He, oh, he I'll, I'll take that back. He did take it to Arola, but he didn't. He didn't stand there and trade punches. He just the entire time he just tried to walk box and and uh, and ran from Arola a lot. One one thing I was disappointed in Arola was a. Uh, uh, he, I was even asking these guys, is Arola a left-hander? Because the guy just only saw like three right hands from Arola. Uh, the constant left jab, constant left jab. It, did, it didn't work sometimes, but I wanted to see a little more, uh, a little more work from the from the right hand. Uh, what else? Uh, besides that, yeah, I, I was I was a little excited later on when when. Uh, we saw that Klitschko wasn't hurting Arola, so we're thinking, man, okay, finally it's gonna be it's gonna be a fight where Klitschko won't get a KO and Arola's gonna last all the way to the twelfth. He's not gonna get knocked out. It didn't look like he was gonna get knocked out. So, so here we go. We got uh, like even if Arola loses, everyone knows Klitschko. Like, I mean, he lost to Klitschko and he he's gonna look very good. I'm not saying he looked bad, but he uh, he lasted. Yeah, he lasted a lot long, and they stopped the fight. I just wish they wouldn't have stopped the fight because it it would look great on Arola going 12 rounds and showing like just because of how big a warrior he is. And but he did say it. He did say that hey, I'm uh, I wouldn't have quit. Yeah. You know, it still shows his chin and his heart, his will to keep fighting and try for the win, even though he's getting dominated. And it basically just came down to Klitschko fighting a smart fight and pretty much just trying to stay away from Arola's power because it was a couple punches. That Ariel landed that actually knocked Klitschko back into the ropes or knocked him back a few feet, which is impressive for knocking back a six foot seven guy. So, yeah, pretty, uh, well, after all, pretty good fight. Not, uh, we expected a little more action. I bet everyone else expected a little more action, but besides that, it was pretty good. Um, a loss for Ariel, but we don't know. He can come back and, uh, and props to Klitschko for pretty much. That that was a perfect fight for Klitschko. I mean, that was he did nothing wrong. Well, is that is that it, Carlos? You're, that's you're it. Good? Disappointed, but that's it. Hope to see him back soon. Thank you. Thank you guys.